Hello everyone. Today's video will be a complete tutorial on how to utilize Discord's webhook system to create beautiful embeds for your Discord server. Once again, this is part 12 of my Discord Academy 101 series, and let's hop right in. So the very first thing you'll be wanting to do is to create a banner or banners uh, for your Discord embeds. And one way you could do this, of course, you could create your own banners with whatever uh, graphic design site that you'd like. But one thing you could do is to go to the cooltext.com website, and once you're there, you could choose from a variety of different texts and fonts, and you could choose one to create to use for your embed banner. So let's say, for example, I really like this simple uh, candy font here, which is some basic cursive. All you have to do is just click on the font that you like, and then put in your text. So for the first one here that we're going to be doing, we're going to be doing the rules. So we're going to simply do rules, and then all we're going to do here is increase the text size, uh, to the desired size that you'd like, uh, and then once you have that, one uh, you will just you'll basically copy the image. Uh, but before we do that, we're gonna have to go into uh, creating the embed itself. So once you have a banner or some sort of text like this, uh, just leave it on the side for now, and we'll use it later when we are creating our embeds. So before we can create an embed, we have to create a Discord webhook. Now to do that, all you have to do is go into your Discord settings. And then once you're there, all you have to do is go down to the Integrations tab under the Apps tab, and then click on that, and then the top tab here, there'll be a Webhook section, and there'll be a button called Create Webhook. Now if you click Create Webhook, it'll automatically create a webhook for you so you can see uh, it, it named it SpideyBot. And now we can see there's a few options on this webhook that we just created. Uh, basically though, a webhook is basically, like, as it says here, a simple way to post messages from other apps and websites into Discord using internet magic quote unquote. Uh, so essentially, uh, you use these webhooks by uh, inputting, uh, so as you can see there's a button to copy the webhook URL, and, simp and basically you would typically use another webhook. Uh, a website uh, and then you would use this webhook on that website to send messages to Discord for you uh, in means s similar to a way a bot does uh, but in this case you don't actually have to create a bot uh, so it's a lot easier that way and that's why people use webhooks uh, to post simple embed messages uh, for different info channels. So the first thing we could do here is choose the avatar for your uh, first webhook here. Uh, so let's choose one here and we'll use this one. And then once you choose your icon, then you can name it to whatever you like. So in this case, I'll just call it uh, Exceeds uh, Webhook. Uh, and then after that, you could choose a channel that it can post in. Now this is the only downside to webhooks is they're locked on a single channel in your Discord server. So if you have multiple info channels, say you have a channel just called info, and then you have another channel for rules, of course, and then another one for, I don't know, server info or something weird like that. Um, let's just say you have three info channels. You're going to have to make three different webhooks for each of those channels. So let's just choose the first channel to be the rules channel, as pretty much every server will have a rules channel, so this should uh, relate to your server if you if you are trying to build one, of course, with the series. Uh, and by that, uh, we could make a rules embed uh, by using this webhook here. Uh, so we just choose rules uh, and then simply save changes. And then once you save changes, all you're going to do is click the copy webhook URL button. And then once you do that and you're all copied and good to go, then we could go to the right website uh, to use our webhook. So the website we'll be using today will be called discohook.org. And this is the main website that, that I, I would say majority of people that use webhooks in the Discord server use. Uh, so I do recommend this one. It is safe and it will be in the description below uh, so you could follow along. So let's go to the website here. And then once you open the website, there'll be a lot of different information on your screen. Uh, so just let's just break it down into little chunks here. So the first chunk is the webhook URL. So simply all you're going to do, and this is actually the first step anyways, is to paste your URL that you just copied. So remember this, remember the URL in integrations here under your webhook. Uh, when you click copy web, webhook URL here, all you're going to do is paste it into this section. And now it's in there, we're all good to go, and we don't have to worry about anything else. So we're just good to go, and we can continue uh, with the tutorial here. Uh, so the next section here is the content section. Now this is simply filled out with a bunch of default stuff, so we could delete everything that's inside of there. And basically all the content section is, is basically you just sent, just telling the webhook to send a regular message, not embedded by the way, uh, to the to the Discord server. So, if, so if, we, if we just type here, hi, my name, sorry, hi, my name is, uh, is Exceed, uh, we can see in the, in the right side here it says, hi, my name is Exceed, and it is, it is, it is just in regular, uh, plain old message. Like, it's just a plain old Discord message. Uh, so if we just delete these embeds here that are default, uh, we just leave it like this, and then we click the send option, 
Then it will send to the Discord server and into the rules channel here. And we can see that it just sent it from the webhook and it says, Hi, my name is Xseed. Now that is cool and all, but that's not exactly what we want. Of course we want embeds, we want the nice clean embeds to make your info channel look uh, pretty good. So let's just delete this message here and let's go back to the website. So we don't want to be using the content section uh, as it's not really important unless you just for some reason want another user to send a message for you. Uh, but in this in this case we're going to be using this add embed button. And by the way all these other things like profile, thread, this is all connected uh, to the regular content message so we don't have to worry about any of this. So just skip all that. Same for this files, just skip that. And all we're worried about is this add embed section. This is the main section that we want uh, to create our nice uh, clean embeds uh, for your server. So all we're going to do is click add embed, and as you can see embed 1 is empty, that's because we haven't edited it at all. And then if you just click this little uh, side arrow here beside embed 1, we can see there's a list of different things that you could change for it. And we're going to go through every single tab here and what they do. But before you do that, I'm just going to say create two embeds here, and I'll show you why in a bit. Uh, but firstly, or but basically why is because we're going to have two embeds, we're going to have one for the banner, uh, which was what we chose here on the cool text website or whatever banner you've chosen or created obviously that you already have uh, and then the next one will be our actual content in the next embed let's go over everything that is in this embed section so you're not confused about anything the first section is the author section now basically all this is is as you can see there on the right side uh, over here we can see that this is the first embed so this is the one we're editing right now embed one and if we type anything into author let's just say uh, we can see that it just well, it doesn't really do anything yet, but basically author, if you put in a author icon URL, so let's just uh, copy this image for example, and then put it in. Uh, we can see that there's a diff there's a little image here uh, for our rules here uh, that we just copied from this website. And it's basically like if you want to put the author of the thing. So I could, if I wanted, I could actually uh, copy my own image here uh, and put it in and then change the name to my name. And there we go. It looks like I, like it just looks like a little... Uh, snippet of my Discord account. Uh, it just looks like you know my profile and my name. So th all all, th all this author section is is if you want to basically sign whoever uh, posted it or whatever you like that, then you could put the icon and the name there. So if you have like an admin in your server and you want to uh, put them as the author, so then people know that it's them sending it and not you, the owner, uh, then this would be the reason to use this author section. Uh, but we could just uh, empty it for now as. I mean, you can use it if you like. If you want to add uh, your profile and your name there, uh, just to you know, just to show that you you're the one that sent it. Uh, but just in general, you don't need to do it. But if you like to do it, you can. So it's just kind of there if you like for your embed. Uh, the next section is the body section. Now this is a very important section, of course, uh, because this is well where our main body of text will be. So I've already prepared the rules. I already have it all written out. But of course, you could always uh, write out um, your own if you'd like. Uh, but I already have one written out here, so it's basically just regular rules here. So I would pause the video right now and take the time to um, write out your rules or, or whatever info channel that you'd like into the description box here. And by the way, two little tricks uh, if you are pinging any uh, roles or users or channels, uh, there's a certain way you have to do it in order for it to send. Because if you just paste the role in, it, it won't actually properly send when you click the send button at the top. Uh, so instead, you're going to have to do it a certain way. So basically, all you're going to do is left arrow and then at. And then if you're pinging a user, you're going to do exclamation mark. And then you're going to paste in whatever the user ID is. So you're going to copy the user ID. Make sure you have developer mode turned on. If, remember, if you don't have developer mode turned on, all you have to do is go into the advanced tab in your user settings. And then it'll be the first option here, developer mode, and just turn that on. And then once you have the ID pasted in there, then all you do is right arrow. And as you can see on the right side, it says at user. Now, if this is a valid um, user ID, it's not going to actually change the name up here. It'll always say at user. But when you do send the actual message uh, into the channel, then it will actually show up as whoever you're actually pinging. And if you're pinging a role, all you're going to do is an and symbol instead. And as you can see, it'll be at role. And if you're pinging a channel, it'll simply just be hashtag and then the channel ID. So assuming that you finished your description and filled out uh, whatever type of info that you'd like to have here, uh, then we can choose a title. Uh, so it, basically a title, it's just basically bigger font above it. Uh, so I'm just going to call this one uh, server rules in bold. Then once you're done that, there's two options here. The first one here is URL. And basically all this is, is if you paste a link in here, then the user can click on the embed and as you can see it's highlighted and it'll basically just take you to whatever the link is linked to. 
And then the next section here is the color, and all this does is change the color of the side here. So as you can see, if we change the color, you can see that it is just the side type. So I'll do this nice gold here. And then the next section here will be the field section. Uh, now field section is basically just like columns in your embed. Uh, so if you do add field and then add field again, and then if we open both of these fields up here, and then we click on the inline button for both of them, then if, as you can see, if we type uh, some random field name and then random field value, and then we type field name two, we type a random field name for field name two, and then a random value. As you can see, it's like columns, so they go in their own separate columns. And if we add a third field and did inline, uh, then it just it just keeps getting smaller, so you could have as many columns. So if you want to customly make a like graph or some sort of thing like that uh, for your embed, you could actually probably do quite a lot of cool stuff with this if you had enough time to play around with it. Uh, but that's basically what fields are, is basically just creating columns uh, in your embed. The next section of the embed is the images. Now if you paste an image in here, like the rules thing, as you can see it pops up on the bottom. And that is why we have two embeds created here, so then we can make the first one this uh, this uh, image here, or the, or the banner, or whatever banner that you have, and then the second one will be the actual info. Uh, but you can see that it just posts an image inside the, uh, of that embed, uh, and then if you also want to, you could also use this thumbnail URL, and if you do it there, then all it does is just put it in the little top right corner here. The last tab here is the footer tab, and it's essentially what, it's, what it means. It is a footer of the thing, like if you're using a Word doc, so you could write you know whatever you'd like here, and as you can see, it shows on the very bottom in small text, and you can also add a timestamp, whatever you'd like, and we'll show the timestamp of when that you or of when you posted the embed or whichever date you like, uh, so then people will know when you posted it. So if you do want to take the extra time to add a timestamp to all of your embed posts, that would be cool. And then also you have a footer icon URL, so you can also paste a little tiny icon uh, beside your footer uh, your footer text. So now that we know how to use their embed system, we can now make the perfect info embed. So firstly, we will copy the banner or whichever image you want to use, like the text or the banner uh, that you have created. We'll go into the embed one, click on images, and then put in the first tab image URL. And then we'll close that embed one, and then we'll fill out embed two. Uh, so let's fill out the body here. And now that we have that filled out, we can now change the color. So let's do the nice, uh, the nice gold again. And then we could do fields here, but I'm just gonna leave fields blank. Uh, and let's also add a thumbnail. Oops, let's add a thumbnail URL as well. And there we go. And now that looks pretty good. So now we can view it on the side here so we can see all of our changes. This on its own, it stands out. It's it's perfect. You could obviously edit this a lot more if you'd like. You could add you know more big icons and stuff, make it pop a lot more. Of course, you can make your own big, you know, really wide banner to really fill the space out, make it colorful, make it stand out. Uh, but this is just a basic um, example on how to use uh, the embed set the embed uh, system uh, with discohook.org. So now that we're done all that, we can click the send option here. And as you can see, if we go back to Discord, we can see that it posted in our rules channel and it looks pretty decent. Of course, you could make it look a lot better uh, probably than I can. Or you could do it like how I did in my main server where I use, um, where I'm pinging uh, roles. And you can see just with the colors of the roles, it makes it stand a lot more as well as uh, using uh, bold text and all that sort of text uh, features that you could use in Discord when you're creating your messages, as well as emojis. Emojis help stand out a lot more in your embeds. And make sure that your banners and text are very colorful and pop out a lot. And if you follow all these steps, you should be able to make a pretty beautiful uh, embed, embedded info uh, into your info channels in your Discord servers. In that case, though, that'll be wrapped to this tutorial. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, and please uh, leave suggestions uh, below on different tutorials you'd like to see next. Please subscribe. We're close to, or we're going to for uh, 500 subscribers here, and we are very close to 250 subscribers. Uh, so that'd be nice. And once we do hit that, we will be hosting a Nitro giveaway in our Discord server, or once we hit 75 Discord members. But honestly, I think we'll hit the subscriber goal first. And once we do that, then we'll host the giveaway. Uh, so please make sure to join the Discord. It is in the description below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.